Well, hello, this is Kelly and I'm the Mathematic Plumber and welcome to video four of the level two drainage waste and venting series. And in today's video, we will size stack vents using code tables. And note, this is a continuation of the last video, which was entitled Sizing Soil Away Stacks with Tables. If you haven't watched that yet, you should do that first. All code references will be made from the 2015 National Plumbing Code of Canada. In order to understand this video, you're going to need to have some basic plumbing code background knowledge. If you do not have this and you're brand new at it, feel free to watch my other video series first called Basic Drainage Waste and Venting. Now, a stack vent is a vent that goes from the top of a soil away stack all the way to outside air. The table we use to size stack vents is table 2584, and notice it is used for sizing stack vents and vent stacks. Vent stacks happen in a different video though. Let's look at the left hand side. That is the size of soil away stack in inches. What this means is we're going to look at our soil away stack and find out how big it is at the very base or the very bottom of it. The next column is total hydraulic load being vented in fixture units. Along the top in the main body is the size of stack vent. And all those numbers in the big portion of the main body are meters of developed length. Now that seems like a lot of information, but we're going to break it down with a couple examples here. But first we need to go through a couple code clauses that are going to help clarify some of this information. Clause 2584, number one. A vent stack or stack vent shall be sized in accordance with table 2584 based on the length of vent stack or stack vent and the total hydraulic load that is drained to the lowest section of the soil away stack or stack served by the vent pipe plus any additional vent loads connected to the vent stack or stack vent. The first part talks about the developed length of the pipe. We'll get back to that. The second part talks about the hydraulic load that we need to factor in. And in order to find that, we need to look at the very, very base of the soil away stack. Everything that drains through that point is what we're gonna use to size the stack vent. Clause 2584 number two. For the purposes of table 2584, the length of a stack vent or vent stack shall be its developed length from its lower end to outside air. So in order to find the developed length of a stack vent, we need to start at the top of the soil away stack, right here, and measure it all the way till we get to outside air, which is right here. And we're gonna do that in meters because that is how our code is written. So to bring all this together, I'm gonna to use this first example here where I have one and a half inches at the base of the stack. There is also one and a half fixture units at the base of the stack. And I have a developed length of four meters for my stack vent. All right, let's plug this into table 2584. I come down on the left-hand side until I get to one and a half inches. That is the size of my stack at its base. I come over to the right. That will be good up to eight fixture units. Well, I only have one and a half, we're still good. And now I move across to the right once again. What this tells me is if I have a one and a quarter inch stack vent, it's good to 15 meters of developed length. Well, I only have four. Therefore, I can have a one and a quarter inch stack vent. Now for every vent, I also need to check table 2571. That's the minimum size of vent based on the size of trap being served. Well, I have a one and a half inch trap and table 2571 tells me that I can have a one and a quarter inch vent pipe minimum for that. So what that means is we've confirmed that our stack vent will be one and a quarter inches minimum. Now for our next example, we have a three inch soil away stack at its base with seven fixture units draining through it. And the stack vent itself extends from here all the way up through the roof. And we're gonna say that's two meters of developed length. Now this little vent pipe coming off the powder room from the main floor is gonna have no effect on this whatsoever. That's a minor vent called a continuous vent. We'll be covering that in a future video. But it doesn't change anything to do with the stack vent because everything from that powder room is already draining through the stack, therefore it's being counted in the stack vent. So back to table 2584. I come down to a three inch soil away stack and a total hydraulic load of seven, so I come down to 10. Now I go across to the right. You will notice that I cannot use one and a quarter inches, it's just blank. So I move over to one and a half inches and it says I can have 13 meters of developed length on one and a half inches. And that will be my answer. And if I reference table 2571 based on the size of largest trap, three inch for the water closet will have a minimum vent size of one and a half inches. Therefore our stack vent is minimum one and a half inches. For a third example, we have a three inch soil away stack at its base with 11 and a half fixture units 
and a developed length of 11 meters. Yes, it is not to scale. So we reference table 2584. I go down to a 3 inch soil away stack. I come across to 10. That's not quite enough in the fixture units, so I go down to 21 fixture units, across to the right, and one and a half inch stack vent is good to 10 meters of developed length. I'm at 11. That means I need to go to two inch. So my stack vent will be two inches in size. Now that's gonna change the size of a couple things there. So we need to pay attention to that, including where that kitchen sink goes into the soil away stack will now be minimum two inches as well. Now let's go through this last example. We had a four inch soil away stack at its base with 25.5 fixture units flowing through it. The developed length of the stack vent is three meters. So let's look at table 2584 and go down to a four inch soil away stack. If I go across to the right, the first fixture unit load I come across is 43. I'm at 25.5, so I'm good there. So I head across to the right until I hit my first number, which is at two inch. A two inch stack vent is good to 10.5 meters of developed length. So my stack vent will be minimum two inches. And just like the last example, we need to focus on that little piece of soil away stack from the kitchen sink that is now going to be two inches in size minimum. And that brings us to the end of this video, but stay tuned for the next video where we get into vent headers and branch vents. And until that point, you have yourself a stupendous day.